We are presently witnessing an unbelievable, if not unprecedented, decline in the energy output of the sun, which is said to be the most rapid decline in nearly 10,000 years. Granted, the sun produces energy cycles every 11 years or so, but something is much different about the present cycle. It seems extremely abnormal, which may bring very bad consequences. Scientists will tell you that disasters are the most consequential when the energy output of the sun declines, since it becomes easier for cosmic energy particles to penetrate the Earth's surface as the planet's natural shielding is weakened. But it looks like this time around the consequences of a dormant sun are much more severe. The last event to have such dire consequences for the world was during the Great Famine of the 14th century. It started with bad weather in the spring of the year 1315 in which there was a significant crop failure that lasted until the summer harvest of 1317. Europe did not fully recover from this event until the year 1322. The crisis set in motion the great economic collapse that began during the 14th century. There are similar comparisons to what happened then compared to what is happening now. Today's society mistakenly believes that they have conquered every worldly aspect, that humanity can even control the climate. Many of you may have forgotten the history of what took place in the 14th century. The collapse of the weather during the medieval period was quick and deadly. What followed was bitter cold winters and perpetual frozen rains. Plagues and various types of disease then correlate to the decline in temperatures. As the weather worsened, the first disease began to appear in the livestock, followed by consecutive years of crop failure, which then launched the years of famine, leading to the deaths of as much as 15% of Northern Europe's population. The concern we have today, regardless of what may actually be causing this, is the similarities we are seeing develop around the world with regard to the steady output of extreme weather on the planet and the decline in the energy output of the sun, which could set in motion the beginning of another mini ice age on Earth within the next decade, one that resembles the deep freeze of Europe in the first few months of 1709. In that year, the food supply was wiped out by a retest of the lows that were experienced in the 14th century. People were actually ice skating on the canals of Venice, which was completely unusual to witness such cold that far south on the water. People were also able to cross the Baltic Sea by horseback at this time because it was completely frozen. The years between now and 2024 will be a time of great change filled with consequential events for the generation and for the generations to come. It seems that we have reached the point of no return and must therefore ride out the storm that approaches, and we must do so with strength and fortitude if we are to survive what comes. The surge of extreme weather today has no boundaries. It affects all people and all nations, and it is merciless in its ramifications across the planet. What we see developing over many years is very perplexing. In Augusta, Maine, the Kennebec River unexpectedly flooded on January 13th, after large amounts of rain and snowmelt caused chunks of ice to break free creating a dam that blocked the flow of the river. The water surged well above the 12-foot flood stage, reaching close to 20 feet before receding. As the river flowed its banks, cars became encased in ice and rising waters. This is just another in a series of bizarre weather events for the year. In Michigan, a blast of winds from the north produced high waves along the lakefront of Whitting, 
Everything near the shoreline was completely frozen, turning them into ice sculptures. Ice spheres also formed on January 13th at the Little Sable Point Lighthouse on Lake Michigan. Some of the spheres were three feet in circumference. In Croatia, freezing fog was responsible for these impressive images. Ice jam issues are rearing their ugly head on waterways this winter. Sub-zero temperatures quickly froze lakes and rivers across the northeast and midwest, but that was followed by a brief and mild warm-up with temperatures surging 10 to 20 degrees above normal, which were mixed with rain, creating the melt that broke up the ice and created the jams. The ice flow is knocking trailers off of their foundations, and it is surrounding houses in huge chunks of ice. There has been some exceptional anomalies this winter, from bomb storm Grayson, to snow in the Sahara, to ice spheres on Lake Michigan, to snow in the Gulf of Mexico. Our world is changing. On the morning of January 16th, a rare and phenomenal sight was photographed over New Orleans, Louisiana. A two-shaped roll cloud was captured in dramatic images and video as it rolled across the sky. The roll cloud appeared just prior to an Arctic air mass moving into southern Louisiana, where snow accumulation is presently falling over much of the Baton Rouge area. More than 71 million people are now under a severe winter weather alert across much of the United States, while states of emergency have been declared in multiple states, including Alabama and North Carolina, due to the inclement cold and treacherous ice that has imperiled these regions.